The blockchain is a technology of our digital future. To be able to utilize it effectively, it is necessary to understand its technical principle. To explain it, we will use Blockchain Notarius, the public notary type of application running on ELA blockchain. Over the next few minutes, we will present how Blockchain Notarius registers a digital document on the blockchain and why a document's copy verified in Blockchain Notarius must be identical to a registered original. The same way can be used for any kind of digital property. Let us have a text document, say a short confirmation, in PDF format. Registration of this document on the blockchain is the first step. To do it, we need to calculate a document hash. The hash is an imprint of the file content, obtained as a result of processing the file with hash software. It is a string of 64 letters and ciphers. To express it in decimal form, 77 ciphers are required. It offers a number of combinations comparable to the number of atoms in the known universe. This feature is the first important property of hashes. The probability of two different files having the same hash is practically zero. Although it is possible to create text files with the same hash as our confirmation, any such text has no real meaning. To create a counterpart confirmation, preserving the original hash value is impossible. Not even any quantum computer in the future will be able to manage it. Two different meaningful text files will always have different hashes. The second significant property of hashes is that it is impossible to reconstruct the original content of a file from a hash. The hash process is based on a non-reversible mathematical transformation. Let's go back to our confirmation. The hash has been calculated. Then the auxiliary information, so-called metadata, can be added. However, metadata is not an obligatory requirement. A hash, together with metadata, creates a record. The record is submitted to be saved in the blockchain. The blockchain software adds other additional information. Node and user identifiers indicating who made a registration and where. The time of registration is also included. The record is then attached to the end of the blockchain file and secured by an additional hash. Then a new block has been added to the blockchain. Attaching the new block at the end of the blockchain enables users to include previous hashes in the secure hash. If somebody tries to change any part of the internal content of a blockchain file, the complete following chain of hashes will be disrupted. Any attempt at blockchain counterfeit can therefore easily be detected. This is why blockchain content is considered to be immutable. All previously presented operations necessary for document registration are done for you by the Blockchain Notarius application. Registration of a document requires access to the private section of Blockchain Notarius, so we first need to log in to Blockchain Notarius. After logging in, the dashboard appears. There, all registrations made by the logged-in user are visible. Let's create a new entry, a new registration. The file for registration can simply be selected in the file manager. If a document is selected, it is possible to add registration metadata. Please note the switch labeled Entry Visibility. Selecting Private means that metadata will be hidden for public verification. The next step is the final check and confirmation. 
After attaching a block to the blockchain, the registered document will appear amongst your entries and also on the dashboard. Simple, isn't it? Where a blockchain is saved. The term blockchain can have two different meanings. Originally, it referred to a sequence or chain of blocks, as explained previously. However, the term blockchain has come to also be used for a network of computers and blockchain nodes where a blockchain file is saved. Blockchain nodes communicate mutually within a network to check that blockchain copies are identical in all nodes. This is another form of protection against counterfeiting of records. Why are there so many blockchain nodes? To ensure that if one or more computers fail, the rest of the network will still save a copy of the blockchain. After remedying a failure and reconnecting a computer to the network, other nodes arrange restoring of the actual copy of blockchain on it. The blockchain network then provides indestructible storage of the blockchain. Blockchain Notarius runs on the blockchain network of ELA blockchain. It is a public project built by a community of private companies as a reliable blockchain platform for industry and trade. Now we will present how the authenticity of a document can be verified. The document copy has been submitted and it is required to verify if it is identical with the previously registered original in Blockchain Notarius. The first step is the calculation of the file hash. If the hash of a submitted file copy is identical to the hash of a registered file, then the file copy must be identical to the original file. As such, it is enough to search the blockchain. If such a hash is found, it is confirmed that submitted copy is identical with the file originally registered. The service part of the block then provides information of who has registered the document and where. The metadata provides other possible information. Furthermore, the entire process of document verification will be done for you by Blockchain Notarius. Document verification is a public service provided on every node of the ELA blockchain without the need to log in. You need only to select the file that you intend to verify in the file manager and confirm. A green colored result indicates that the hash of the selected file has been found in the blockchain and the file has been verified. The service data provides the information about the node and the user who has made the registration and the metadata shows you other information. What is important to remember about Blockchain Notarius? Blockchain Notarius doesn't serve to save data in a blockchain and nor is it a backup for data. It doesn't secure data against loss so everybody should save their data themselves. If a document is lost, its registration on blockchain becomes useless. Consequently, the security of company data is not at risk. As has been explained, no real data is saved in the blockchain, only hashes. As such, any attempt to hack the contents of the blockchain is useless. There is nothing to steal or abuse. While Blockchain Notarius can only verify data authentically, it does so perfectly. Hashes saved in a blockchain are practically immutable and indestructible. The cryptocurrency Bitcoin is probably the most popular application of blockchain technology. The Bitcoin blockchain has not been cracked during its 10 years of existence, even though there is a strong motivation to do so. If bitcoins are stolen, an absence of carefulness is the only reason. Thank you for watching our video. We believe that ELA blockchain will be extremely useful for your company and your business.